Good morning, folks. The sun has become much more active in the last few days. Sunspots, solar flaring uptick, and today the CME production gets back into gear. FYI, we're seeing all but the coronal hole AIA wavelengths of 193 and 211 loading back to SDO now. Just a couple of them there, though, and it's very sparse, so we'll stick with Proba 2 and GOES SXI until they come back more fully. Anyway, here you see the flashing of the increased solar flares. They are in uptick right now, but alas, they are still barely even cracking into M range, let alone X. Pretty double eruption came off the northwestern departing limb as a flare and CME erupted, followed by the larger plasma filament structure just to its north, also released. Couple sunspots just departed. But those on the disc are worth watching, especially the bigger ones incoming at the limb. They will soon become the primary eruption threat on our star, trailed closely by the darker plasma filament to its north. Some of it is cannibalized into the active region, and that could create future instability. Solar wind telemetry from ACE here. Speed in yellow surging upward this morning on what is likely another speedy stream embedded within the coronal hole. Geomagnetism had calm, but we could see more today if the intensity continues. Folks, you may have noticed a few changes to spaceweathernews.com. Now, as the SDO comes back into usefulness, we'll bring it back as well, but for now, the setup is meant to isolate a solar flares row and a solar particles row. We've got one more change coming this week. On to the top stories, which include a failure to find any evidence of the sterile neutrino. I'd like to remind you guys that this is trending. First, it was a dark matter experiment coming up nil. Then CERN's huge discovery turned out to be data interpretation errors. And now a major neutrino search comes back limping. U.S. climate report is out for July. While max, min, and average temperatures altogether trended towards an above average month, the maximum temperature seen was a nice split between hotter and colder than normal. We've also got some precipitation rates here, and so that's where the desert's early monsoon season went. Glad to have got it back now. Folks, we are up to episode 62 of Deeper Look this year under the members' premium content at suspiciousobservers.org. Also, if you missed yesterday's news, one of the best we've ever had, go back and watch. Not only did Jeffrey Love allow us to update the earthquake challenge, but we saw more of that super slow-mo lightning discharge. We've got weather around the world, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.